And I'd be remiss if we didn't take a minute to say thank you to the best band in America right there. Thank you. Thank you. The heartbeat of the Trojans just do an amazing job. You know, t today's really a, 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 an incredible day when you think about after months apart, we are thrilled to have an opportunity to gather in person and officially unveil the College Track and Field Center and honor the generous Trojans who made it all possible. Thank you. We have a great deal to celebrate when it comes to U of SC Track and Field. This past year, our women's team won the NCAA Outdoor Track and Field National yeah. Championship. Seven track and field student athletes clinched NCAA individual titles. Several are with us today, and you're going to have an opportunity to salute them in a minute. And 15 Trojan track and field athletes competed this summer in Tokyo at the Olympic Games. The success of our track program is unrivaled, but what sets USC apart is the accomplishments off the field as well. Our men's and women's team earned GPAs of 3.05 and 3.35 respectively during the spring semester, despite the difficulties presented with remote learning. Anna Cockrell was named the 2021 Honda Sport Award winner and co-winner of the 2021 Pac-12 Woman of the Year Award, which is presented to graduating student athletes distinguished herself in the areas of academic achievement, athletic excellence, community service and leader, and Anna Cockrell is with us today. Anna, please come up here. Just please come up and wave. Anna Cockrell, everybody. Thank you so much, Anna, for coming. You, you embody everything that's awesome about being a Trojan, so thank you, thank you for everything that you do, and thank you for being here. Also, we have another distinguished uh, track athlete. Isaiah Jewett became a global icon for his sportsmanship during the 2020 Olympic Games. Isaiah Jewett is with us also. Where's Isaiah seated? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Isaiah Jewett. What really makes this project special is when you think of loyal Trojans who made it possible. And when I say special, that is unique. And you, when you think about the Trojan family and what makes it so powerful is buildings like this and the fact that these former student athletes united with a competitive spirit to pull this project together. And so you're gonna hear more about the unique origin story of this project from our president in a minute, but uh, we just couldn't be prouder of former student athletes leadership and pulling this all together and uh, from the start the team really set out to recognize the amazing history of USC track and field today I met the very first female uh, track scholarship athlete from USC I met one of our national champion coaches formerly we have so many dignitaries involving USC track we're not going to be able to get them all but this building salutes all of you and you're going to see your hard work on display in here. And uh, again, I think that the leadership team that put this project together wanted to ensure that was a big part of it. They wanted to provide a world-class facility for our current team, which obviously is, is very, very important to them. And they wanted to ensure we could continue to recruit high-level student-athletes. Again, thank you to everyone who was a part of that, whether you were a, a, a visionary at the start or people that worked on campus to help build this and construct this building. It was a really an incredible mark of brilliance. And we're so appreciative of putting that together. So when you think about it, look at this building. It represents the core of what USC is all about. Tradition, innovation, and striving for excellence in everything that we do. We talk every day about being the most student athlete centric program in the country and this represents that caliber of commitment to our student athletes. I can't think of a better way to launch the Quincy Watts era than the opening of the College Track and Field Center. Quincy, we are so thrilled to have you leading our program. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to hear from him in a little bit. Quincy, please stand up and be recognized. Quincy, your, your pedigree as an athlete is matched only by your prowess as a coach and mentor of our athletes. As I introduce our next speaker, I'd like to share a few thoughts about what she means to this program and to our beloved institution. Dr. Fultz's leadership and poise have been instrumental in helping us ensure that we emerged from the challenge of the last 20 months stronger than ever. That is a bold piece of leadership from, from President Fultz. She embodies an unwavering commitment to excellence and competing at the highest level. She has been an extraordinary partner to me as USC's athletic director and to so many others on campus. And we are so appreciative of her passion, support, and the impact she has had on our student athletes and the Trojan family. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our president, Dr. Carol Holt. amazing, amazing time this is for us. I am so excited to be here with all of you. Thank you, Mike. I mean, talk about a person who's pretty excited and excitable, and the two of us just can't believe our luck to be here with you at this moment when we're doing this ribbon cutting. And um, it's just fabulous to have everybody here with us today. When I spoke about um, the work that we were trying to accomplish here today. I was so taken by the fact that this has come from a group of people working very hard for a long time to have this type of ribbon cutting today here on our campus. And so we're celebrating something that has its roots in history but is here right now, something we can celebrate at this moment. So I'm very excited about that. Now, I'm going to take a moment because I have to tell you something kind of funny, but the screen that's giving my words is going backwards. And as good as I am at interpreting what I plan to say, I am totally lost on my back. Could you split the... <laughs> Can it go the other direction or not? It's saying Sinet Medusi. Is there any chance of doing that? That's a first. 